at noon, a rare look inside a courtroom where cameras are not usually allowed. Juvenile court closed to the public except this one day a year. You see, it's National Adoption Day, and News 8's Ken Pierce has the story of a four-year-old officially becoming part of his forever family. That's four-year-old Joseph playing at being a judge, but he's actually in this courtroom for a very serious reason. Today is National Adoption Day, according to the real judge. And if all went according to plan, there's an adoption going on, hopefully more than one adoption going on in every single court juvenile court in the state of Connecticut. This adoption is special because of everything Joanne and Donald had to do to get to this point. They first met Joseph when he was little. I mean, really little. He was the tiniest baby I ever saw. But right now he's thrived, he's beautiful. I mean, it's been a long road. There's been a lot of court issues. Joseph's birth parents at various times wanted him back, but they had their own troubles with the law. Joseph had health issues too, but got better. This is the second child Donald and Joanne have adopted. There's a lot of kids out there who are looking for families and they need to step up and because they're stuck in places where they really shouldn't be. Of course, adoptions like this go on all year long. In fact, in the last fiscal year, Connecticut had almost 800 kids find their forever homes. It's not easy though. There's still 4,000 children still in the foster care system in Connecticut. Even though Joseph has been with Joanne and Donald almost his whole life, making it official with the paperwork and the cupcakes was important. It means that he now is officially ours, and it means I don't have to get permissions to go on vacations like I've had to do. So, and he can get a passport, and things change because you can't do that when they're foster children, but you can when they're yours. And it is clearly in Joseph's best interest that he be adopted. Accordingly, the adoption agreement is hereby approved. That means life is pretty sweet for Joseph today. In New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.